smell that? That's the smell of adventure. <coughs> oh, no, no, that's a rotting corpse. Must be around here somewhere. <gasps> wooga, wooga. Damn, it's a native. Okay, man. Damn it, my haberdasher is gonna be furious. Mr. Native Man, I just want you to know, this isn't anything personal against you or your indigenous race, okay? This is strictly self-defense. Wow. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, that should not have worked. Okay. I could have sworn I caved this skull in. So it's gonna be a chase, huh? Well, I'll have you know that I ran track in high school. Well, I didn't run track, I ran around the track. And it wasn't really a run, it was, it was more of a light jog. But I still bet you can't catch me. Well, there goes what was uh, essentially my only advantage. Well, good chase to you, uh, good luck, and uh, may the fastest man win, right?
Professor Jones! Professor Jones, I know you're in there. Come out here this instant. You're a teacher at this university, and I expect you to teach. Open up. <sighs> oh. Please come in. The door is locked to let you know that I wanted you in here. Don't give me that in your sass, Jones. Get out there and teach your classes, or the Board of Education will have my head. Sorry, Dean. I'm an adventurer first and archaeologist second. And a teacher third, I guess. I, I keep forgetting that's my job. Oh, so that's where you've been? Out on adventures? Yes, in fact. And this last adventure brought me something quite valuable. I had to run from a crazed native just to get it. No big deal. Where on earth were you where there was natives? The archipelago? go? No, Alabama. Long story. Regardless, you see this scroll? This scroll has the names and coordinate locations of seven legendary keys. Seven keys that I intend to track down so that I can single-handedly unlock and recover the Emperor's Terrapin. The what? The Emperor's Terrapin. The solid gold turtle. Created by the oldest Byzantine emperor. If the legend is correct, he stored his most valuable possessions in the shell of the turtle. It could be potentially worth I don't know, how much is a golden turtle going for on the stock market these days? Well, both gold and reptiles are up this year, but I still don't think it's a good idea. Just think about the historical significance, mm -hmm. the publicity, more importantly, the money this is going to get me, and therefore you. I mean, I'll, I'll make a donation to the school, and it'll attract more donors when they find out that I, the great Jared Jones, work here part-time. And maybe not even part-time when I'm doing other things. Look, Professor Jones, I'm sure you'd like to be like the archaeologist of yore and track down amazing treasures. But nowadays, it's not like that. It's like digging in pits and doing paperwork. All these legends are just that. Legends. Well, I don't dig, and all my paperwork ends up mysteriously in the garbage. Listen, I know there are adventures out there to be had. Real adventures, and I'm going to head them. This could be my first real find. Like, my first actual archaeological discovery to be known for doing archaeology. Like, how am I supposed to get my name out there if all I do is stay here and teach it? Huh? If you're so set on it, tell me how you're supposed to track down seven of those keys. I'll figure it out as I go. I'm kind of a rebel that way. I actually have the first one set up. I'm meeting somebody in New York in order to exchange some money for the first key. Ugh. These guys actually already raided the tomb in Egypt to get it. I mean, good thing, because could you imagine sending me to Egypt? I mean, the school does definitely not have enough money in the budget for that. You're using the school's money for this? Yeah, it's a, it's a learning experience. You said those could be written off as school expenses, so, so I just assumed. The learning experiences are for the students, not just for you. Hey, you're the one that said we only harbor the most experienced professors at our university. So I have no idea why you hired me. Anyway, it'll be fine, because I'll give you a call every once in a while to keep you updated, all right? All right, I have enough of these delusions. I cannot have you go on another one of these ridiculous adventures. Please just teach your archaeology class and... Shit. So this is the best place you could find to do this? On short notice, yes. Have a seat, Dr. Jones. So, got the cash? Yeah. Straight out of some poor kids scholarship fund. You got the key? Right here. So now we make the transaction. You slide the money to the right, and I slide the key to mine. after all that negotiation. 
May I offer you some trail mix? Yes, actually, I'm, I'm starving. I mean, I've had a pretty rough day. I, I got on a flight, right? When you get here, and they didn't even serve peanuts on the flight. And that's like my lunch, my whole lunch plan over there. I get to the city, right? I'm gonna maybe I'll, on my way here, I get a hot dog, right? Eat lunch there. But no, all the hot dog vendors, they're not off. They're like they're off on Wednesdays. This is junk. <laughs> what? It's poison. Excuse me? It's poison. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. And it would appear I have the only antidote. <coughs> it's been a pleasure doing business with you, Dr. Jones. But I have another buyer who is just dying to get his hands on that key. <laughs> no pun intended, of course. Excuse me, here. Excuse me, here. Let me just try to stick past this pole. Excuse me. Pass you right quick. Come on, man, you just had to be an asshole. <coughs> My only regret was that I didn't seat myself closer to the exit. Key of power. That was easier than I thought. I mean, I almost died. But other than that, Easy. Yeah, uh, I'll have a uh, scotch in the rocks. <sighs> it's not even funny. I paid for this. I'll just, can I have a water, actually? Thank you. Excuse me. Are you Jared Jones? I told you, the IRS isn't getting shit from me, all right? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not from the government. Oh. Then who the hell are you? I used to work at the Smithsonian, and when they received some of your letters and theories... Wait, 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 they got those letters? I, I never got a reply, I just assumed they never even got there because of the god-awful U.S. postal system. No, they did get there. Oh. They went straight into the trash. Oh. Yeah, but that's how I got a hold of them. I was a janitor there. You don't say. Yep, and when I read your archaeological theories, I was just amazed. Really? Well, who needs those bozos at the Smithsonian when I've got a janitor on my side? Well, former janitor. Right. Former janitor. You know, I love your one theory about how the Egyptians were actually visited by animal people from beneath the sand instead of aliens. <sighs> yeah, that, that one's a classic. And the one about how Bigfoot is actually dead and is a ghost now, and is called Ghostfoot. Yeah. Oh, and the one about how Hitler was really- Okay, okay, that's, that's enough about me, alright? You, you know what I like about you? The fact that you used to work in the Smithsonian. And I bet they give all their janitors keys to certain things, right? Well, yeah, in order to clean everything. You know what's funny? They forgot to take my keys back when they fired me. That is perfect. Well, Mr... Oh yeah, my name is... You know what? Not important. Your name is not important. All I care about right now is your occupation. Oh. Okay. Now listen, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. One that I've only told one other person. So I need you to never ever repeat this to anybody else. Okay, can you do that? Oh yeah. The only person I would tell would be my roommate. But he's deaf. And mute. So he wouldn't be able to hear it or tell anyone else. Great. Not, not the fact that your, your roommate's deaf and mute, the fact that you won't tell anybody. You get what I'm trying to say. I'm about to divulge some top secret knowledge to you in the middle of this very busy public place, okay? Take a look at this. Wow, really old paper. Yes, exactly. This old paper has the location of seven legendary keys that, if all found, can unlock an ancient treasure greater than any other treasure unlocked in the history of locks. That's like 50 years of history. M much more than that, but you, you get the, the weight of the situation. 
I've already got the first key, all right, and now I'm here in DC to get the second key, the key of the king, which is on display, guess where? Oh, uh, the Natural History Museum. No, close though, in the Smithsonian. And that's why I think you could help me. You think you could assist me in uh, nabbing the key from the museum? You're talking about stealing from a federal institution? That's probably a felony. And I'm probably well aware of that, but just think of the greater good. We, we both know this key is just gonna sit there when its truer, greater purpose is to unlock an even greater treasure for me. I mean, for us, for, for society. I mean, just, just think of the even better discovery we can make. I don't know. Oh, come on. They wronged both of us, all right? They completely disregarded my research and they fired you for, why did they fire you? I kept power washing the historical documents. Apparently ancient texts don't need that much cleaning. Right, well, how were you supposed to know that, all right? Come on, let's, let's show these snooty so-called archaeologists what we're capable of. You know what? I'll help you. But I hope when you find this big treasure, you'll mention that I helped. So sure, you, you, they'll definitely get like a special thanks or something. All right, let's go. Okay, here's, here's the plan. plan. No, I have the plan, not you, remember? All right. Since you have the keys, you're gonna sneak around back to unlock the display case to get the key. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be around the front, distracting the guards so he doesn't see you. All right, how are you gonna distract him? Oh, I could be quite the charmer, trust me. Hello, do you, uh, do you happen to know where the bathrooms are, by any chance? Behind you and to the left. Damn! I forgot how quickly people can answer that sometimes. Hey, here's a distracting, uh, here's a normal question for you. What is the make and model of your blender at home? I'm just in the market for a new one, you know. Make and model? You're killing me. I mean, everyone knows the make of their blender, but the model too? All right, hold on, I'm gonna have to look this up. Yeah, 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 you look that up. What are you looking at? Oh, no, um, it's just I, I have two lazy eyes, so when you thought I was looking at you before, I was actually looking to the right to adjust for the, uh, the, uh, the laziness. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, do you, do you have any crippling disabilities? Because that, that's something people bring up in casual conversation. Well, actually, I have a really sad story about how I lost the use of my right leg in the Great War. Polio set in. That's what I. Well, it's been uh, it's been nice talking to you, and I'm sure that I'll never see you again. Bye. Oh, people these days distracted so easily. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The key of the king. I can't believe that worked. I only stabbed myself with my keys twice. You were amazing at distracting that guard. Thank you. And you know what? You were pretty well. You were, you were pretty terrible at opening up the case, but you know what? You got the job done, and that's what's important. In fact, you helped me out so much. You assisted me so much. I'm gonna call you the assistant from now on. I love it. It describes how good I am at assisting people. Yep, yep, that's the gist of it. It was a pleasure to work with you, Mr. Jones. Any idea where you're off to next? Well, my adventures take me all across the world, but the next key is in... What's wrong? The third key is in the museum, too. What? I said the third key is also in the goddamn museum. What? Where? Apparently, right next to where this one was. I actually can't believe this. Oh, man. I really should read ahead on these sorts of things. So, does this mean we have to go back? Yes, we have to go back. Okay. Okay, you know the drill? What drill? I'm scared of power tools. No, I mean, I mean the plan. Oh, okay. I'm only slightly scared of those. J just go, just go. <laughs> Well, well. 
Back to hear my sad disability story again, huh? Oh god, no. Uh, I'm here to... Uh... Come on, Jared. Think what's the most distracting thing that someone can say to someone else. I love you, or your entire family is dead. Maybe both. Sir, your entire family is dead, and I love you. Don't go any further. I'm sorry, but I'm married to the job. Oh really? Oh darn. Looks like I can't, uh, can't be in love with you then. Uh, well, your family's still dead though. They've been on a bad path for years. I knew it was coming. Wait, wait, wait. All of them? Even your grandma? Especially grandma. Well, um, I'm sorry, or not sorry for your losses. Oh well, look at the time. Um, I gotta go, again, and I'll never see you now, again. I'll never see you again. Okay, bye. Also, I just wanted you to know that this was my first time being rejected, and it hit really hard. I'm emotionally in a rough place right now. I swear, it gets more suspicious every time I see him. Eh, probably nothing. Here we go. The gold key checked off the list. Isn't it funny how to get some keys, I had to use other keys to unlock these keys? <sighs> Shut up. So because I helped you find two keys, are you going to mention me twice or just once but longer? You know, I haven't thought about it. Probably once, but not a longer once. But right now, I'm off to find the next key. Which is in. Please don't be in the museum. Please don't be in the museum. Okay, just it's, it's fine. It's just deep in the Amazon jungle, that's all. Oh. All the way in California, right? No, South America, but again, real close. Well, Assistant, it's been a blast. It's truly been an honor, sir. Just remember that I may call upon you again in the future to assist me once more. Okay, but how will I find you? When the time is right, I'll find you. Wow, what a hero. Yeah, I actually have no way of contacting you, so that was almost pretty stupid of me. Just, yeah, just write down your number and then... And I'll write down mine, so... Yeah. It's going great. Like I, the second and the third one were literally right next to each other. Yep, I've already got I've already got three out of the seven. Jones, I'm looking at the bills, and they're not looking too bad. One flight to New York City, one flight to Washington D.C. Uh, both economy. Yeah. I must say, I'm quite impressed. See, I told you everything would be fine. The payoff for this thing's gonna be huge anyway. Oh, and wait a minute, wait a minute. Another bill just came in. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Too expensive. Yeah, I got I got fed up with the economy pretty quickly. And you're paying for a guided expedition to the heart of the Amazon? Twenty thousand dollars? That's ridiculous. You have to cancel this expedition and come home right away. Oh, oh sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. I, I I can't hear of all the cool adventures I'm gonna go have now. Bye. Uh. Hello, Mr. Mr. Potts? Oh, oh yes, I am Mr. Potts. Yeah, uh, my name is, is Jared Jones. I called earlier about an expedition to the jungle. Oh yes, Professor Jones. So nice to finally put a face to the name. Yeah, the, the feeling is somewhat mutual. All right, the mask. I apologize and, and can assure you that it is indeed not a sexual fetish. I didn't think it was, but that's good. Oh yes. Being a jungle expedition guide can be dangerous work. Most of my face is scarred with third degree burns. It's a ghastly sight, which is why I must wear the mask. That, that's, that's crazy. What in the jungle can cause burns like that? Well, nothing in the jungle. I was at a hibachi restaurant and I face planted onto one of the grills. Oh my. Quiet, but let me tell you, it was worth it to eat the food as freshly cooked as possible. I'm sure it was, but uh, about the expedition? All right, come this way, Professor Jones. It's time to meet the expedition team. This is Melvin Chopsticks. He is our martial arts defense expert and bodyguard.
This is the Snake Charmer. He's our animal safety guide for the jungle creatures. Hi. And last but not least, we have our very own pack mule to carry all of our things. <laughs> Don't worry, he's an indentured servant, so he's legally bound to do whatever we want. Anything. That, that's great. I just need him, you know, just to do general stuff like carrying things and helping with equipment and whatnot. Oh, he definitely can help you with your equipment. Yeah, can we can we stop it with the euphemisms, please? It's very disturbing. You've got it. Well then, I've gathered the team. Where are we off to? Well, the artifact that I'm looking for is at these coordinates. Can you get me there? Of course I can. Tally ho, boys. Behold, men, the natural power that is the Amazon River. Wow, it's a, a lot smaller than you see in the pictures. Oh yes, but that's the wonder of nature. It's always infinitely disappointing. Alright folks, this seems like a good spot to take a break. I'm going to go piss my brains out in the bushes over there. Unique choice of words and thanks for letting us all know. Oh yes. Oh, I have to poop now as well. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh no. Uh, you guys have been pretty quiet since the start of the expedition. You know, why don't we talk a little bit about ourselves, you know, do some trail bonding? Well, uh, I've been training in the martial arts since I was, uh, very young. I mastered the art of, uh, projecting eating utensils by, uh, impaling a man in the eyeball with my very own, uh, chopstick. Impressive. As a, uh, hired guard on Mercenary, I plan to raise enough money to open up my very own Chinese restaurant. Wow. I barely understood any of that. How about you, Lizard Seducer? I'm a snake charmer, ya. Yeah. Same difference. And I come from India. There I had a knack of taming wild creatures. So I came to the Amazon, a place full of beasts to master. That's... that's not a real snake. I can... I can plainly see it's made of rubber or something. Really? I just thought it was dead. Oh well, I'll make the killer fashion accessory. You're right, it does work for you. And I, the pack mule, hail from- No, I don't care about your backstory, like, at all. Oh. But speaking of backstories, you both seem to give up yours rather easily. As if you were practicing them or something. Hmm. Hmm. It seems we like to tell stories. And what's even more interesting is that both of you failed to ask me about my backstory. Arguably, no, definitely the most interesting backstory of all. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. 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 Uh. Oh. 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 I'm not 
proud of the things I did back there. Yeah, you were gone for a pretty long time. We had like a full conversation out here. Oh yes, there were several complications. I zipped up my genitals. Hey, can we just get back to the expedition, please? And here. This is where the coordinates lead to. Okay guys, so what we're looking for is something that looks like a key. Alright, it should be around here somewhere. Agent Max Powers, FBI. Agent Jack Strong, CIA. Oh my. They sent both the FBI and the CIA. That's rough. I knew it! As soon as you both were rehearsing backstories, I knew you were undercover agents. We're here to make sure that key you're looking for ends up in government hands. We need more ancient keys to put in American museums. Two were just stolen from the Smithsonian the other day and we need replacements. <laughs> what a coincidence. In any case, you're not getting this key, or the scroll of many locations of ancient keys that I have, or the three ancient keys that I have in my person at this moment. I just have one question for you. Why are you dressed as racial stereotypes? Because these ridiculous hats are perfect to hire guards. Oh, oh. Shit, 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 shit. I'm sorry, Professor Jones. I had no idea they were undercover agents when I hired them. I'm also sorry that I didn't check their hats for firearms. Look, don't, don't worry about it. Just all we have to focus on now is, is how we get rid of those guys. Oh, I think they've ceased fire. I'll peek out and check. Have you ceased fire? I, I can see the light in my next life. I want to come back a hedgehog. Oh. Uh. Oh man, let's just come on. Hey, guy with the hat, could you peek out next time? That would really help us out. Hey, I stole the snake. What, whose side are you on? Uh huh. Okay, I gotta think. I don't have a weapon. No, 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 don't tell them that. Here, turn around. There's gotta be something in here I can use. Really? A whip? Like the shittiest melee weapon of all time? That's all this bozo thought to bring? <sighs> it's gonna have to do. Oh damn. Um, Pack Mule, thanks for, uh, thanks for being my human shield. Pack Mule? There goes the most useless person I've ever known. Godspeed, Pack Mule. Godspeed. Bingo. And there we have it, the key of the fountain. Took a little bit more work than I thought, but I got it all right. Where am I off to next? Well, that sucks.
Hey, thanks for uh, coming with me to Siberia. After what happened in the Amazon, I think it's a good idea to have somebody watching my back. And you came to me because of my many skills and qualities? Uh, no, um, I just didn't feel like explaining the whole key treasure thing to somebody else. And plus, I hate meeting new people, so this seemed like the easiest option. Oh, well, I guess I wasn't doing anything anyway. See, it's a win-win situation. And hey, if you do a good job, you might be up for a full-time position of being my assistant. Sweet. All right, got it, all right? All right, let's go. All right, don't mess up. So I've arranged for a guide to meet us out here to take us where the key is, but I don't really see him anywhere. Look, Professor Jones. Uh, professor Jones is my father, uh, but he wasn't a professor, so professor that, that Jones, doesn't work. Professor it's a woodland critter. Oh. It's so cute. Well, would you look at that? Look at that. Oh, you know, you can only have these kind of experiences out here in the wild. Like, say what you will about Siberia, but this place, this reserve, provides a safe haven for little guys like this. What the hell? Like critter! Sorry there, folks. It's just part of the job. As a ranger here on this reservation, I have to make sure that no animal survives. Uh, no, I think your job would be to make sure all the animals survive, right? Hmm. You, you might be right about that one. I might have read the job description wrong. I'll have to check on that later. Hi, I'm tour guide Frank. I believe I'm supposed to be taking you on the reservation today? No, not the woodland critter. Yeah, but uh, I remember you as the security guard from the Smithsonian. What are you doing out here in Siberia? Yeah, that was my previous gig. I got fired after some jackass stole two ancient keys from the museum while on my watch. <laughs> really? <laughs> you, you don't say. <laughs> yeah. If I ever find out who did that, I'm going to slit their throat, just like I did with that poor woodland critter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure wouldn't want to be that guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Nobody would. But we better get a move on before it gets dark. Right, right. Uh, come on, assistant. Hey, Frank, I just wanted to thank you for taking us out here today. Oh, you're welcome. But you don't have to call me by my last name. Wait, Frank isn't your first name? No. My first name is Tor, my middle name is Guide, and my last name is Frank. It's pretty simple. Okay. Any particular reason for that? It's to show my employers that I'm really dedicated to my job. You know, what better way to show dedication than changing my name to my profession? So does that mean when you worked at the museum your name was Security Guard Frank? No, that'd be ridiculous. Right, because having your name be Tour Guide isn't ridiculous or anything. Wait, hold on, hold on a sec. So you introduce yourself to people with your full name, like like first name, middle name, and last name included? Of course I do. You don't think that's just, just a, a tad bit unnecessary? No, not at all. It's to show how reliable and trustworthy I am. I have nothing to hide, especially not my name. Well, you sure like to show people things with your name, Frank. Yes, I do. I, I'm honestly astonished that this has not backfired on you yet. What do you mean? Well, by following both of your silly rules, you still seem normal. By introducing yourself as Tor Guide Frank instead of just Tor. And by having your last name be Frank, it's, it makes people think that that's your first name, even though your real first middle name makes it sound like it's your title of profession. And then other than, okay, you know, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm frustrated with this. Are we at the spot yet? Yes, we've been here since at least halfway through our conversation. You know, I've just been leading us in circles now. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just tell me? And interrupt the intelligent conversation we were having? I wouldn't call it that, but okay. Okay, it's fine. Just, can you just show me where the key would be? Right this way. All right, ancient keys over on the right, bathrooms here on the left. Oh, bathrooms, I'll be right back. No, 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 hey, 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 I brought you here to help, you can't just leave. I just, I just really have to go. I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. <sighs> fine, okay, but I swear, if I am unceremoniously attacked and you're not here to help me? Don't worry, I've been going to the bathroom for many years. I'm practically a professional. Everyone is. But me especially. Spend time with the mentally disabled, they said. It'll be a fulfilling experience, they said. The key's this way, right? Oh wait, I just remembered. As part of my job as a tour guide, I'm supposed to tell you interesting factoids about the area. You know, you don't really need to. Did you know that the ancient Siberian key of the cow is said to be under the protection of a local villager slash guardian, only known as Rhino Fist? A uh, local villager what? <laughs> you know, these things usually start with a conversation, right? Hey, Paul.
Let's begin. Oh, so is that, is that a, a pleasure thing or is it strictly for work? <laughs> Nothing's better than newspaper funny pages. are so dry. I know you're the forest guardian, but for once, can you please just not do your job? <laughs> oh, that's my sternum. Mess with the rhino, get the horn. Get it? Because rhinos only have have one. Okay, never mind. That's fine. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You missed that whole fight. Yet somehow you still look way worse than I do. How is that even possible? Some would say I was battling my own inner demons. Of course you were. Key of the cow. We're five sevenths of the way there. Five sevenths or ten fourteenths? No, no. Wait, no, that's actually mathematically correct. Let's just get, get the hell out of here. The last time I let someone take keys from where I worked did not go over so well. What are you getting at, tour guide Frank? What I'm getting at is if you want that key, you're gonna have to go through me first. Really? I just fought that guy, and now I gotta get through you, really? You're joking, right? Tell me you're joking, please. Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys get out of here. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. So where to next, boss? <sighs> Looks like we're going to the land of sand. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Cleveland. Nope, try again. Denver? Yeah, sure, Denver. Why not?
Yeah. Hi. Dean? Yeah, um, remember when I was leaving my office and I said it was a good thing that I didn't have to go to Egypt? Yeah, well, I'm in Egypt now, so... Yeah, 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 it was quite expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it does look a lot like Siberia, yeah. Yeah, without the snow. Yeah. Ow, my ear. <sighs> Okay, we won't be calling him again. Well, boss, how are we going to find the next key? Well, after my two previous forays with expedition guides, I can't say that I'm actually satisfied with the service. I mean, the first one got shot in the head, and the second one uh, only let us a couple of feet into the forest. I mean, we honestly could have done that by ourselves. So then how are we going to get to the key? We don't need a guide. We've got coordinates, passion, and my trusty compass. That's a pocket watch, and it doesn't even work. Okay, you know what? We don't need a compass. We've got the stars to guide us. It's daytime. We'll use the clouds then. They don't have any, like, bearing on navigation at all. I swear? Okay. What are you, the navigational genius all of a sudden? You hear that? The sound of progress? What? No. It's people doing things. I can't see a thing. Hand me the knocks. You didn't pack them. What? Yes, I did. I know I did. Nope. Can't find them. I can, I can see them. They're right there. Oh, you meant these? I thought you meant door knockers. What? No. I meant binoculars. How, how do you even mix those up? And why would I need door knockers in the first place? I don't know. You should really be more clear about these things. I'm this close. I'm this close to going over the edge. Place looks heavily guarded. Something's definitely going on. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna sneak in, undetected, silent, like an alley cat. The alley cats that live near me make a lot of noise. Shh. I'm gonna sneak in and see what the deal is. All right, you stay here, but keep lookout. All right, if I need you, I'll call like a crow. Crows aren't actually indigenous to this area. Okay, then what birds are? Um, can you just make like a camel sound? Look, I'll just yell for you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Stay alert. You got it, boss. What the? Holy shit. I thought they were just keeping coyotes in there. What the hell are you doing in there, kid? Hello? Kid? What are you doing in there? At least tell me your name or something? I don't know. Short square. Short square, huh? An adjective followed by a shape. That's ingenious. Well done, Jones. I knew if I kept a helpless child here, you'd come to save the day. Um, yep, that's that's definitely why I was here, because I knew there was a kid in there and not a, not a coyote, and I was here to rescue him, not spy on your camp. Well, were you actually looking for this? The key of the diamond. Hey, I need that. No matter now. You've fallen into my trap. Now hand over all your keys. The Emperor's Terrapin shall be mine. Wait a minute, pack mule? This is your camp? And you're trying to trap me? This is a joke, right? No, Professor Jones. I assure you it's very much a serious plot. Come on, pack mule, we're buddies. Come on, we go way back. Remember we tricked through the Amazon way back last week? And used this as a human shield? What, you're playing the villain now? Come on. Oh, Jones, you naive fool. I was always the villain all along. It was me, don't you see? My god, you're right. 
all the clues. They're right there in front of my... No, actually, now that I think about it, there was literally no reason for me to suspect this. Like, you, you're literally just bringing this claim out of thin air. What? No. I mean, kinda. I mean, we only had one interaction before this, and you only seemed a little weird to me. And, like, at least 75% of the people I've met recently have been messed up in some sort of way. Aha! But what you didn't know is that during our expedition, I sneakily stole your ancient scroll and copied down all the information to know exactly where you're going to go and- That's stupid. Why the hell didn't you just keep it? What? Why didn't you just keep the scroll? You could have stolen the scroll and the keys that I had, and then gotten everything all to yourself. Uh, well, yes. I could have done that. But, but then it would have ruined the more diabolical part of my plan. You see, in order to humiliate you, I plan to be waiting for you here after you had collected all the keys, delivering them to me like the gullible dog you are. Ha 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 Why didn't you wait for me to have all the keys? Huh? There are seven keys. I have the first five, you have that one, and the next one is at the next spot. If you just wait for me there, then you could have gotten all of them. I mean, now you're gonna have to go out of your way to go to that next spot, and so that's just, you know, that's inconvenient and frankly not very efficient. What? Rick, seriously? You told me there were six keys, Rick. I put you in charge of this stuff, Rick. Ugh, you disgust me, Rick. Get out of my face. No, stay here. We're going to take this guy prisoner. What, are we gonna walk away in the middle of our confrontation? How do you think that makes me look as a leader, Rick? Huh? Did you even think about that? Huh? You're making us all look bad, Rick. Gosh. Hey, Rick. I think you're all right. Don't you start with him. And I've had enough of you poking plot holes in my evil plans. Gaping plot holes. Get him, boys. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. If I let you out of this cage, will you help me take out these guards? Yeah, yeah, I was trained by black cop soldiers. Really? Great. I know you're just a kid and all, but I'm getting some really crazy violence vibes from you, so... I am so good at reading people. I'm getting good this thing. Shit. Assistant! I need some assistance! Assistant! Uh -huh. Oh, that, that, that's me. Thanks, you were a lot of help. Who are you? Oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, a gun. You can just leave this thing lying around? I mean, I've got blood on my hands, but what a rush. Oh. Is, how do you do that? Is it like, is it like your nails? Is it like your teeth? Well, Pac Mule, seems to be foiled your evil plans. Now hand over the key. You'll never do it, you know. You'll never get all the keys. Ah! 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 You don't even feel bad about that? You know why? Because you're the villain. Now give me the key. Ah, uh, all right, here. That really hurt. The gunshot. And the words, too. Good. That was fun. Yeah, in a dark, twisted kind of way. 
Oh look, he wants to come too. Yeah, his name's Short Square. Wow, an adjective and a shape? That's ingenious. Ingenious, right, that's what I said. He's pretty handy in a fight too. You can keep him around, you know, like a, like a guard dog maybe. Yeah, he seems to like you too. Hey, what do you say, kid? You wanna come with us on our adventures? Yeah, 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 I love adventures. All right, you're the newest member of the Jared Jones team. Yeah, welcome to the Jared Jones and the assistant team. The Jared Jones team. Right, right, right. So, where's the team going next? <sighs> Looks like we're going to Australia, boys. So the coordinates from the scroll are saying that the last key is through these trees and into the outback. How do you know that? Oh, I uh, I just had to punch him into this thing. I mean, it, it's it's incredible. Like, it showed me exactly where to go. I don't know why we just didn't use this for the rest of the keys. Can, can I just can I just get something out of the way real quick? Like, you've worn a different hat for every place we've been. Can, can you just like stick with one? Because like, I, this is my thing. This is my hat. He's got his little cap thing going on. Like, just pick a hat or don't wear one at all. Seriously. That doesn't even... Okay, are you just, are you guys ready to head out? If I see a koala, I'll have a PTSD flashback. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired, and plus I really don't feel like walking through another dry, flat area. Really, guys? Really? Mm-hmm. Great, so the two people that I brought to help me out are just gonna wait by the car. No, that's fine, I'll just go alone and find the damn key. But you two still have to help, all right? Short Square, you grab the truck and uh, assistant, you, uh, uh, you count rocks or something, I don't know. Yes, sir. Frölden Frör! on me, Jared Jones. These little expeditions are costing us outrageous amounts of money. Now I see here three tickets to Australia. The crew's getting bigger, man. They're helping me get the key. No, they're not with me right now. Yes, I know that's not being very helpful. Yes, I'm in the outback. Yes, it does look a lot like Egypt. Anyway, there's nothing to worry about. We already killed the villain back in Egypt. Yeah, he, he did show up a little bit early. Yeah, he was very premature. It doesn't matter, alright? It'll be a cakewalk from now on. Right, can you call me back a little bit later? I'm a little bit busy right now. I swear, if you spend any more school funds, I will track you down, I will find you, and I will make you stop. What was that? Oh, I can't hear you over all these mating calls. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kangaroo mating season here. Kangaroo mating season? That's in January! And you know that! Jones, don't you hang up! Jones!
Good night, mate. Okay, you you really shouldn't sneak on people like that, okay? Sorry, mate. I've been told I'm a sneaky guy. Gilligan, Gilligan Smith. I know. You're the most famous archaeologist out of Australia. Yeah, that's me. And you are? It's funny you'd say that, actually, that you don't know who I am. I mean, I'm Jared Jones, the most famous archaeologist out of the United States, and some might say the world. Hey, interesting. Never heard of ya. Well, you. Well, you know, Australia is a very isolated continent. Jones is familiar, though. Like, with the state as the first name, like Illinois, Iowa, or... No, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think I'm the only uh, archaeologist Jones out there. Pretty sure, yeah. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I've, you excuse me, I'm, I'm busy looking for something. Oh, what would that be, Mike? If you really must know, I'm uh, looking for a key. Oh, you mind this key? <gasps> it's the key of the emeralds. Ah, so that's what this is. This is one of them keys to the Emperor's Terrapine. I've been meaning to get around to finding that eventually. Wait, 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 where'd you find this? On my last dig, it was wedged in an Aborigine's ribcage. Wow, were you excavating a burial site? No, it was alive, just incredibly malnourished. Oh, right. You know, since I found this key and you were looking for it, what do you say we team up to find the rest of them? Then we can find the Emperor's Terrapine together. You know, share the glory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sh share the glory, right. So is that a yeah? <laughs> sure. Right, this will be fun, eh? Two famous archaeologists on an adventure across the world to find a legendary artifact. Hey, let me help you out there. You're looking a bit tired. Hand me the shovel, I'll fill in that hole that you dug while you take a breather. Team up together. Share the glory. Never heard of you. An Aborigine's ribcage. Good night, Mike. Oh, share the glory. Together. Team up. Never heard of you. Together. Together. Team up. Share the glory. Together. 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 Share the glory. glory. What the hell am I doing? Where's the safety on this? Thing? We have to go. 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 Hey, what was that? Sounded like a gunshot. We have to go, we have to go, we have to go. We have to go and never come back again. We did it. We actually found all the keys. I'm just so proud of both of you. And me. Mainly me. Hey boss. I know I've been asking this a lot. Really to further meaningful conversation. And therefore the plot. But where are we going next? <sighs> That's a great question and one that I do not have the answer to. What? What? Yeah, I know you guys look up to me as a, as a successful role model. You're like a father to me. You're like a mother to me. Yeah, but I never thought we'd make it this far. I didn't even bother to figure out where the Emperor's Terrapin was locked up. But, but, there's gotta be a way we can find it. Can't just give up now. Nope, I'm giving up now. We had a good run, but it looks like we can't find the treasure after coming all this way and making it right to the end. Aww. Of course I'm not giving up, you idiot. Who the hell do you think I am? <sighs> Come on, Jared. Think there's gotta be a way I can do this. Hold on a second. Short Square might be onto something. The answer might be in the keys. The key of power. The key of the king, the key of gold, the key of the fountain, the key of the cow, the key of the diamonds, and the key of the emeralds. All of them symbols of power and luxury. Yeah, especially the cow one. Autogasara luxurious. Shh, shh, shh. Now the names of these keys seem to be very specific, alright? The first letters of their names might spell out the location of the terrapin or at least be an anagram or something. Quick, somebody hand me a piece of paper. P K G F D E. I could be like Gekpata? Gekpata? Oh. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, the, the, it got, the location's on the back of the scroll. It was written on the back of the scroll the whole time. It's false alarm. Alright, yeah. Yeah, we're going to Central Europe. Yeah. No, just... Okay, where'd you even get that? How did you get those... Okay, just change, you change your hats. All right, we have to change. We have to change the hats. It's more like it.
coordinates should show us the way. We just got to make it there in one piece, guys. Oh no. The legend's warned of this. Of incontinence? No. Tigers. Look, he's so he's so cute and fluffy. He's he's so small too. He's like like a baby or or like a midget. They prefer the term little tigers. R right, little tigers. Orange raccoon. That's not that's not what it is. Is it? <laughs> Just as I suspected, memory snares, or to the layman, booby traps. Tread carefully. Or don't, whatever. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Wait, what, what, what? Did you step on one? No, no, my, my leg's just cramping up. God damn, did you stretch before this? No, did you? <laughs> no. Hold on! Hold on! Oh. I saved you from falling like three feet there. That would have that would have mildly inconvenienced us at worst. Okay, let's go. ancient part of the forest. Nobody's been here for millennia. Yeah, look at the rust on those empty beer cans. Uh, can we just, can we just- They look a tire! Are those used con- Can we just have this moment, please? We made it. I'm actually here. I'm at the tomb of the legendary Emperor's Terrapin. Do you know what this means? That you'll finally be able to finish your turtle collection? No. That I've actually made an important archaeological discovery. Like, I, this is something I can bring back to civilization to be known for, to be famous for. People are going to know the name Jared Jones. Yeah. 
That would be great to be recognized by my name, my real name. Hey assistant, some dreams were, were never meant to come true. Here we go. Before I put this last key in, I just want to say a few words. I, I wanted to thank you guys for, for believing in me, for, for sticking with me through all this. Because, because people said I couldn't do it. They said that I want to be, nobody archaeologist couldn't find a treasure of legend. They said I was chasing ghosts out here. But look at me now, on the, on the verge of a monumental discovery. <sighs> sure, I don't follow the rules. Sure. I've done some bad things to get here. Sure, I haven't fed my cat in three months. And sure, sure, my sidekicks may be autistic. But, but none of that matters now. Because we're about to make history by finding a piece of it. Let's do this. Oh, uh, one last thing. Put it in already. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Jesus. The legends were all true. A solid gold turtle to encase the Emperor's most prized possessions. Well then open it! I just want you both to know that whatever's in here, I'll fight you both to the death for it. God, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's everything I could have dreamed it could be. I mean, they could have added more. I mean, there's some extra space in there, but you know, it's fine. Well, it'll do. Oh man, it's just old stuff. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to burn it. No, 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 no! These are these are priceless artifacts. These are belongings to the oldest Byzantine emperor. These are alone. The things inside are worth millions, probably. Oh jeez, okay, okay, Dean, look, I can explain. There's no explaining your behavior. Who are all these weird children? You spent tens of thousands of school's money for this adventure. Not to mention you haven't taught your class for weeks. The kid's been watching the same VHS tape for I don't know how long. Couldn't skimp for the DVD or... On top of that, I've been hearing that you've been causing ruckus all over the place. You left a man bloody and unconscious in a building in New York and you stole from the Smithsonian twice. And you assaulted two federal agents in the Amazon. And you trespassed a Siberian wildlife preserve, and you trashed an expedition camp in Egypt. And you murdered an innocent Australian man in cold blood.
but who cares? You discovered an amazing, incredible treasure. My God, Jones, this is incredible. This is huge. I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, that's, that's what I was trying to tell you. It's gonna bring so much attention to me and the college. And our own professor found the Emperor's Terrapin. Come on, let's get going. All right, come on. You're gonna be famous. This is gonna be in the news. America's last archeologist proves legend true. We're gonna be rich and you're gonna be famous, Jared Jones. Okay, okay, so the turns out that Terrapin wasn't actually worth as much as we thought. It was appraised at fifty dollars at the most. And nobody really cared that I discovered it. I believe the newspaper article said washed up professor finds shitty statue wastes everybody's time and money. And the the university may be in crippling debt based off of my purchases. We have no money left and we'll probably be shut down within the month. But hey, this was all about the experience. This was this was a learning experience for us. It was all about the adventure. I mean think about think about how much we learned from this. Hey guys. So, uh, where to next, boss? Where to next, huh? It, we're done, guys. It's over. Well, I, I've I've heard of a, an amethyst alpaca in the Andes that can use some discovering. So let's go. So, are we going to North or South Dakota? Uh, yes. Ooh, piece of candy. Hey, don't eat that. Come on, we got adventuring to do. First Terrapin shall be mine. Good night, Mike. Eh, hey, interesting, never heard of ya. Cannot have you go on another one of these. 
these ridiculous adventures. That's ridiculous! Don't! Don't! Yeah, 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 I love adventures. I was battling my own inner demons. Ah. I guess we'll have to burn it. Wow. What a hero. Jared Jones.